So this episode is a preview of my course where I show you how to build a complete Rails application using Tailwind, Hotwire, and the latest version of Rails. I'll teach you how to build a Twitter clone from start to finish and walk you through all the major features that you need. So after the video, if you like this content, head down to the description and you'll find a link where you can pre-order and save a lot of money on the course. Thanks. So the next thing that we're going to do here is take a look at some styling. So um, if we go to Twitter, you can see we've got three column layout and everything in the middle and our tweet form here up at the top. And then as we scroll down, we're scrolling down um, the middle column here. So we'll go across here and I have found a layout in multi-column layouts in Tailwind UI and it's basically this layout here so I'm just going to come in and paste this in here and so we'll take our yield and just get rid of our main tag here and then we'll go to the middle column and just put yield in there. And then if we reload here, you can see now we've got that three column layout thing going on. So the other thing then is we've got some padding here, which I don't think that we want. So we wanna get rid of the padding on this. And instead we want padding directly on our tweets or on our tweet form or things like that. So we'll take away all of that and reload. And now everything is squished up against the sides and that's okay and then we'll apply some treatments to our tweet form here so the first thing we're going to want is view component so that we can componentize some of our things here the first thing i want to create is an avatar component and um, so what we want is view component and we can say bundle add view component And then we can go to our Rails server and just restart that. Rails generate component avatar. And we've now got our avatar component. So we can go to our avatar here and we're going to say add our reader user. And we'll say def initialize in a user and then we'll just say at user equals user and hit save and now if we go to our avatar component we can use those methods so we can say um, let's say render out initials and um, we'll go in here and create a method for that and so initials can be user dot first name dot split on nothing which will just split on every character and then we can say dot first to get the first letter and then we can do the same thing with the user's last name and then we can put those in an array and then join on nothing which will just join the two characters together so if we hit save here and then we want to render out our avatar, our own avatar in our tweet form. So we'll go to our form and right now we'll just add this in here. So we'll say render avatar component dot new. We'll say user is current dot user. Save that. And now if we reload analyze constant, I think we need to reload our real server. And I reload and we get our pH um, similar to up here. So that's our avatar. We can go into Tailwind components and we'll search for avatar, which we've got. And let's see, they've got text based ones here. So we can go to code and probably take one of these larger ones. Um, go back into our avatar component and then just replace the initials. So and um, we'll just get rid of all of that put in our initials 
and reload. And that is now not working because we need to also then go to our tailwind config and we need to add stuff for view component here. So um, by default, this knows nothing about view component. So we need to tell it, look in app components um, dot rb and dot html dot erb. Actually, we'll just copy this across because this is probably a nicer way of doing it. And we'll hit save. And if we reload now, you can see it's now picking up those files and Tailwind's putting in the appropriate classes. So if we just take a quick look at Twitter, you can see we've got an avatar here, text area here, and then a submit button down at the bottom. So we'll just um, copy that and go to our form here. And we can add some classes to our form. So we can say HTML class, and then we can say padding of uh, maybe three, I think, or let's try four and see if that looks okay. And then we can also then do flex on this. So we can say flex and we'll say um, flex call. And then we'll say items end to make the submit button float over to the end like that. And then we're just gonna wrap these two in a div so we can come down here and create a new div. Put these two elements into it. This will also be flex, but this one's gonna be flex row. And we can say items start to make sure the avatar is up at the top. And then we also want it to be with full and I think we can just make this text area grow so we can say class flex auto here and maybe margin left of four and we might also need to add width fill and perhaps width fill on this div as well so reload that that's now looking a bit proper but our avatar is being squished so we want to go to our avatar and we'll just do it on the component itself but we'll say flex shrink zero to basically say don't ever squish me down and that's now nice and rounded the text area maybe we want to bring it a little bit closer to the avatar so um, we can go back to our in our form sorry and we'll say margin left maybe 2.5 instead to bring that a bit closer um, that is fine and then we just don't want any borders or anything on this text area so maybe we want to set like um, padding zero border none that's a bit better and that's probably okay in terms of rules we also want then no outline so outline none so I think we need focus ring zero Ah, that's sorted it now. So um, that's now working. And then for our tweet, we just want to style that up as a button. So, so I'm going to open up the styles helper that I've got here. So um, this uses the class variance gem and I have a video on how that all works as well that I'll link up above. And um, you can see some stuff here. So we're gonna ignore page titles um for now and then we've got button classes here so um we might just want to uh change this up so we can go into our form anyway and say class is then button classes dot render and if i reload this you'll see we get a nice button here um but obviously we want to change our buttons to kind of match Twitter a bit more so I think we want to say rounded pill um, that doesn't work so we'll go to tailwinds documentation and we'll say rounded corners and we've got rounded fill and just say rounded fill reload 
and we've got a nice button now um, and then the only other thing we probably want to do is make our primary buttons instead of being slate we probably want those to be blue 500 maybe and that looks quite good and then yeah hover just changes the background opacity we maybe want to make that a little bit lower which looks quite good and then we probably want just a tiny bit of margin so it's not directly touching the text area here so we'll just go into um, our form again and we'll just put margin bottom of maybe 1.5 in here and just reload this so that's now looking pretty good and we'll just test that again and it's obviously still working because all we've done is styling changes and then the next thing we kind of want to look at here is just some quick styling of the tweets themselves so if we go to twitter it doesn't have any title saying all tweets it just shows them in a list so we can go and do that now so we'll go to our tweet here and we can add a div around it just to wrap everything and then the other thing that we want to do is add a border to this so we're going to say border bottom and we'll say border gray 300 and that looks a wee bit bold i think maybe we want 200 that looks better then we want some padding in here as well and um, we kind of want to copy our form because we want like consistency in our ui so we'll copy padding 4 here and then also what we're going to want to do is copy this avatar component and so we probably want to copy this and instead of our text area we want to put in our tweet And then we want, instead of this being current user, we want this to be tweet.user. And we'll reload this. So we get the avatar of the person who tweeted. And then we probably need another div wrapped around this here. So um, we had margin left of 2.5 on our form. And we kind of want to do the same thing here. So we'll say class. And then just move this in and that looks pretty good now tweets text size wise do all seem to be a little bit smaller and then the other thing is you get the display name of the user here and then their username and then when they actually posted the tweet so um, we'll want to go in here and do that so so we'll come down here and create another div and we're going to put in our tweet.user.fillName. I don't know if this exists yet or not, or if we're going to have to create it. We'll just take a quick look at user and see. Um, oh, well, and we have just name, which joins the first name and last name. So we can shorten that. Um, next thing then we want to put in here is the username like so and we can put an at sign in front of that and then i'm just going to wrap these in span tags so they can be styled a little bit easier so we'll say wrap with span and that's fine we'll do the same here and then in this outer div we can say space x uh three just to put a little bit of space between these and the last thing that we want to do here is do the tweet dot create it at and we actually want to use time ago in words which is a rails helper that um just formats the date nicely so if we reload this and um, we get undefined method username for tweet because we've done that wrong so it's tweet dot user dot username and we'll reload and then you can see we get the name, username, and how long ago the tweet was. So that's all working nicely. The other thing we want to do is just make the text a little bit smaller, make the name bold, and then these two I think we don't want to be quite as standout. So we want to go in here and say class font 
let's say semi bold, see how that looks. And we also want it to be text gray uh, 900. Then for our username, we want it to be text gray, maybe 600. And the same for when the tweet was posted. And we just want everything in here, I think, to be text small. And so we'll reload this now, and that's all smaller. That kind of looks okay. Um, the actual tweet text then, I think we want to be a little bit bolder and this to be a little bit more muted. So um, yeah, we want that to maybe be 500 and that to maybe, maybe be um, 700 or 800. So we'll go in and wrap a div around this and we'll say text gray. 800 and then both of these will just move down to 500 just to make them a little bit more washed out and then the only other thing I think I want to do here is just add a little bit of top margin to the text just to give it a bit more breathing room so I think we'll go and we'll say margin top 1.5 and that's probably too much maybe 1 or 0.5 And that I think is looking pretty good. Um, we need to get rid of the all tweets title then and add the border. Actually, we'll add the border to the top and then there'll be a border between our tweet form and our tweets. So if we change this from border bottom to border top, and then we'll just go into uh, the index view and we'll just delete this title and reload. And now we have our tweet form and all of our tweets listed out.